Hello everybody, I'd like to welcome you to part 7 of this polymer clay sculpting project I'm doing. I'm making a tiger's face here and despite my efforts it's still trying its best to look like a lion but um, in, th in this video I'm doing the hair, the hair detail. Uh, the last video I did the fur and on this this video I'm gonna actually put the the hair markings onto that fur and basically break it all up to where it, you know has different sections of hair like you see here um, this is going to be a two-part video because as you can see it's a lot I did a lot in this and I just can't fit it all on one film but it's gonna be really awesome and uh, let me show you how I did this starting off um, listening to y'all guys you said the ears are a little too long so I just took just a little bit off you know especially if I'm going for a tiger it, it did need some um, smaller ears and I forgot to do the fur inside the ears on the last video so I figured I'd include it in this video but I'm using the same technique that I used in the last video turning this upside down I discovered that it looked a little wonky and it needed clay on one side really really bad which was odd because I didn't notice that with it right side up so I kept switching back and forth from upside down to right side up adding clay and just working on trying to balance this out a little bit better before I start you know cutting and doing all this hair detail but this could be a great way to discover discrepancies in your proportions uh, by turning it upside down believe it or not it's pretty cool touch my eye back up get it looking clean again I dug in on the sides to further make it look even and that lower or rear layer of fur I wanted to make it a little thicker before I go cutting into it so I added an extra layer of clay now basically all I'm doing here is I'm drawing the lines on first I'm trying to get a direction of what the hair is supposed to look like first I drew all that on and then I start cutting on onto this at first I'm trying to break the consistency up I want to basically make patches of hair sections of hair or fur and to do this I hold my tool where I see the the full circle and when I pull and cut on it it cuts a wide track and if you turn this tool it's a loop tool if you turn it to where you don't see the circle you can actually draw a line onto the clay and not cut anything out so I'm, I'm favoring the loop tool here using this you know trying to simulate fur and another thing I try to move around um, as much as I can and try not to do too much work in one particular area uh, for several reasons mainly because I don't want to forget what it was I did and you lose my lose track but it's good to kinda move around I guess this is just you know how I'm doing it uh, this is turning out really really cool I'm leaving the face alone for now um, because I'm gonna include that in the I guess that's the final video part two of this right there I'm using a wire brush that gives it even finer lines and it really really made it look a lot more like hair I think uh, I'm wanting to take a break from this project uh, it's, it's, kind of, it's had my drafting table tied up for a while now and I can't do anything else I mean it takes it literally takes everything up once I'm done scratching it with that wire brush I just I use a coarse brush it's like a horse hair brush I try to use that to brush the debris as as much as I can out of the little grooves that I made this hair is a start for further creating either an even better hair you know it's it's it needs a little more work but I really appreciate you guys for checking this out um, it's almost done sorry it's taken so long but uh, it's been really really fun and looking forward to hearing what you have to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you here again soon